So drone delivery in simple terms is basically swapping out your delivery guy in his van for a small autonomous flying robot. Yeah, think Uber Eats meets Top Gun minus Tom Cruise. Usually. These drones are typically lightweight electronic quadcopters or hybrid aircrafts that handle small packages, usually under five pounds. So yet yeah, your next late night snack, urgent medication or random Amazon splurge is prime drone territory. Here's how it works. You order something to run at. The item gets loaded onto a drone and it flies autonomously to your home. Once it arrives, it hovers around 400 feet. Thank you, FAA, and carefully lowers your package on a tether or just gently drops it and flies home. And no, they're not just randomly chucking your orders from the sky. These things navigate incredibly precisely. So how do these drones find their way to your driveway without turning your life into a Michael Bay film? Well, to get where they're going, these drones rely on multiple positioning systems. Think GPS, but way more precise. I mean, Amazon and Wing use something called RTK GNSS, basically GPS on steroids. They have the drones pinpoint your backyard down to the paving stone. Which is good news for your car windshield and your neighbor's cat. But GPS really isn't enough. They also have onboard sensors like high-speed IMUs, basically gyroscopes and accelerometers, keeping them stable if the GPS drops out. Cameras and LiDAR measure exactly how high the drone is above the ground, you know, making sure it doesn't accidentally squash your stuff. Yeah, so no blaming GPS errors when your pizza lands on your rooftop. All that data is constantly analyzed by onboard AI, meaning drones can instantly react to hazards in a couple of ways, either waiting, rerouting, or if things get really crappy, just returning home safely. And if you're worried about drones playing bumper cars with birds and trees or through neighbor's garbage, each drone actually packs a crazy level of obstacle detection. I mean, Amazon drones alone combine six cameras, radar, and LIDAR to spot wires, trees, and even the rogue raven mid-flight. Currently, these drones mostly serve suburban and rural areas. I mean, open skies, spacious drop zones, tents, urban areas, still sticky. FAA regulations keep drones within sight unless special waivers are granted. And downtown skyscrapers and busy streets are not exactly drone friendly. Yeah, I don't think any company wants that viral TikTok of their drone crashing through somebody's living room window. I mean, I want to see it, but... I don't think that's going to be good for business. I don't think that's going to be good for anybody. So for now, drone delivery means quick drops of small packages in neighborhoods with, let's say, room to maneuver. You know, it's quietly revolutionizing how your toothpaste gets home. Translation, if you're in downtown Manhattan, don't really expect drones to be bringing you avocado toast anytime soon. I'm assuming people who live in downtown Manhattan eat a lot of avocado toast.